<laughs> well, yesterday was the Super Bowl, which has turned into one of the biggest days of the year on the calendar for movie fans, and this year's event was no exception. 13 films showed new trailers during the game. Those films were Batman vs. Superman, which kind of had two spots, Eddie the <laughs> Eagle, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Captain America Civil War, Jason Bourne, Gods of Egypt, X-Men Apocalypse, Alice Through the Looking Glass, Deadpool, 10 Cloverfield Lane, The Jungle Book, Independence Day Resurgence, and The Secret Life of Pets. Mark, which ones did you like, which ones did you not like, and which one was the best of the Super Bowl? Oh, actually, that's a tough question. I can give you my top three in no particular order were Civil War, the Captain America trailer that actually came online a little bit before the Super Bowl started, so I was like, oh, sweet, I get to watch this here first. I thought it was magnificent. It was everything you want in a trailer, selling it to a mass audience, saying, here's the superheroes on this team, here's the superheroes on this team, and they're all going to fight. It was like a preview of the Super Bowl. <laughs> the Jason Bourne trailer was awesome. And because a surprise. We, we finally sure. got to see some footage of this movie, and we got a title. Guess what? It's called Jason Bourne. Good title. I'll go with it. Right. And then the last one that surprised me a little bit, yes, I like Stupid Fun, but the Independence Day Resurgence trailer, how that played off the Super Bowl as well, had you had the jet fly over, and as soon as you see <laughs> right. the jets, oh my god, there's a thousand alien spaceships! Right. I thought it was so <laughs> well done and perfectly tailored to the moment that was America's game. You're on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Chef? Which which of the trailers showed you? Which do you think was the best of the Super Bowl? Well, I got to give it to the Independence uh, ID Forever, whatever it's called. Um, that was fun. Resurgence. Resurgence. Uh, with the, the pl you know the planes flying over and the little aliens flying after them. Then after that, I was like, Pfft. so I'll give you that little flavor nugget. But uh, <laughs> flavor nugget. Uh, yeah, for me, the the best one, I loved the Civil War mm -hmm. trailer. That was fantastic. I thought the, uh, I know it's not a trailer, but the Ant-Man, Hulk, like Coca-Cola battle, whatever the hell that was. That was a good spot. That was a good it was a fun ad. spot, yeah. but it was also, you know, it had, it's had to something to do with, like, hey, this one of these guys is in Civil War, and the other one isn't. Well, that's, it's so many like, nerds were like yeah. us, we had to explain to everybody else our respective Super Bowl party, like, okay, everybody calm down. Right. We don't know if the Hulk's going to be in Civil right. War. He's, he's going to be in Ragnarok. He's just thirsty, and he wants some, a well, little tiny would, soda. You can't have Hulk in Civil War, because whichever side the Hulk is on, that's the side that wins. Right. I, I don't know, I man. Mean, See in Vision line yeah, up? Vision versus the Hulk. When I saw the Civil War trail yesterday, I was like, you know what? I know that it's going to be tough to pick between teams, but if I have to join a side for my survival, whatever side Vision is on, I'm getting right behind that dude. They better stop showing Don Cheadle all messed up as War Machine. <laughs> but like, well, they've already shown it like 80 times. It's like spoilers. You know, it's like a really heavy thing happens to Iron Man. Oh, I wonder what that is. <laughs> Could it possibly be his pal? Poor Miles yeah. Davis. I think he's uh, eating right? it in this movie. Uh, so uh, what? Uh, can you name some of those other ones? There's like only 400... Super Bowl spots. So um, what else? Alice through the Looking Glass, Deadpool, Ten Cloverfield Lane, The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book one was great. Right. No, nice. nice. actually, I think that mm -hmm. one is my favorite. I, that beats Civil War for me because they really, you really got to see everyone. You got to see Baloo. You got to see uh, what's the tiger's name? The Shere Khan. Shere Khan, Khan, and then the, the Black Elba, Panther. Mm -hmm. uh, Bagheera. Bagheera, yeah. the they, voice by yeah, uh, and Sir Christopher Walken. You got a little flavor of that with the monkeys. Yeah. I'm like, they might even have that song. Like I watched it twice. Like I was like, you see the monkeys all jumping around. I'm like, are they dancing? <laughs> I wanna be like you. <laughs> so it's like that was you know I want to see that song. Better be in there, Favreau. Um, so whatever. I that to me looks incredible. The Jungle Book looks fantastic. Um, there were so many. The weird airplane flights were fun with you know Ben Affleck, the Turkish like, Airlines. Yeah, yeah. There's Bruce Wayne. There's Lex Luthor. And they have a little thing with those guys like walking towards each other. Like, come on, that's. Mm -hmm. I'm still super excited about Batman v Superman. They don't even have to show anything anymore. I'm like, that's going to be fun. <laughs> so that's it. I can't even remember how many other stupid. Oh, there were, were there? So, like so many. A, a billion. But I, I was really pleasantly surprised. I was shocked. I did not hear, uh, maybe other people knew, but I did not even hear that there was going to be a Jason Bourne right. trailer. And it was a nice trailer. Mm -hmm. It was a really good trailer. Um, the Eddie the Eagle spot was really well done because they did a really smart thing where it wasn't just an Eddie the Eagle trailer. They brought in some NFLers because it's on the Super Bowl. To talk, and they all talked about how great and inspiration. I'm really excited about Eddie mm -hmm. the Eagle. I'm getting more and more stoked for that. Hated Alice through the Looking at Glass trailer. I thought that looked stupid. The 10 Cloverfield Lane spot was okay. I like okay. the ending of that spot. Yeah, the I ending like the was very the best yeah, part. What the the hell was yeah, what is that? That yeah. was absolutely the best part. Uh, the Secret Life of Pets was a nice spot, but nowhere near as good as the actual full trailers that have come out for mm -hmm. it so far. Okay, so my top ones. I think for me, the best one, even though it wasn't legitimately a trailer, is the Batman v Superman ones. I thought that was very creative, uh, the way they built it around the airlines and they had the Gotham one, 
They had the Metropolis one. I thought that was really cool and creative. My second favorite one was the Captain America Civil War. Getting to see now Ant-Man in that lineup. Mm -hmm. Getting now to see Vision and Black, Black Panther. Panther in that lineup. And a lot of people are still, you could feel the force trembling as, as a million voices cry out, where is Spider-Man? So right. everybody's still. Uh, right. There's a million you, voices he, crying out, where's Rogue One? He's or not in the movie. Yes, where was Rogue One? I know yeah. we heard that there wasn't going to be it. And it, it, still it, holding out it hope. makes sense from Disney's perspective if you're marketing stuff because don't worry. We're going to know that a Star Wars movie is coming out by the time we actually pay money to see the film. But Disney also had Jungle Book and they had right. Captain America. They had movies that they have to sell before they get to December. So I understood why it wasn't the priority. Oh, and I, I like the Deadpool spots, both of them. Like the, mm -hmm. Okay, it, but they put in a, the perfect joke for being on the Super Bowl. Uh, because what he said, because goes, you know, I've always wanted to be a professional athlete because I want to have children in cities all over the world. <laughs> I thought that was such a and, funny and spot. And the X-Men Apocalypse uh, spot was fun, that too. That is my number three. Yeah. The X-Men yeah, Apocalypse. forgot I, to mention that. You know what? I think it was my, I think that spot, for most of these spots, they're 30-second spots, so they're not as good as the full trailer. I didn't right. think the ID, uh, sorry, Independence Day Resurgence uh, <laughs> spot was as good as the full trailer. Right, a lot of them. But I think that X Men Apocalypse spot might have been the best piece of marketing we've seen from X Men Apocalypse yet. Definitely. Um, and even what's her name who's playing Psylocke? Um, uh, Olivia uh, Munn. Olivia Munn. Munn. That one shot, her somersault through the air. Well, she looks hot as hell cutting that she car. She does now. look Damn. hot as hell, man. Yeah. I mean, it was a really nice spot. My favorite. So, so my number one, the Batman v Superman stuff. Number two, Civil War. And my number three was the X Men. Yeah, the X Men stuff. Apocalypse. It was kind of they showed a lot of the scenes that were already in the in the original trailer, but they added a few more. Yeah. With Cyclops with Angel it with felt good. Right. Yeah, it felt like you know hurt like Mystique getting choked out by a very different looking apocalypse. If you notice, he, he doesn't look that much like Ivan Ooze anymore. Right. He's not purple. Not that shot. Right. They kind of fixed whatever his forehead thing, so it doesn't look all scaraby. I think they did some adjustment and fixing, especially after a lot of people had some you know not as great positive reactions to those pictures from Entertainment Weekly, where I think they were like, and he's giant too. That last shot he grows. of him, Apocalypse he grows. Can, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so he was he's... always going to grow. I think that they just they, they, they got really nervous from that backlash at Comic Con and yeah. the Entertainment Weekly picks. But if you're taking Civil War as your number one and you're taking Batman v Superman, I'm going to break the tie and I'm going to say Civil War just edges out. I love the creativity of the great, Turkish Airlines. It's a great trailer, but, man. man for great a spot. football game trailer, that's what you wanted. Uh, so none of us have mentioned this yet. The, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle spot. Oh, you know that was yeah. fun. I got your first fourth shot. It was uh, Krang. Uh, Krang. Got yeah. a first yeah. look at Krang. Yeah. Which I know got Dennis excited. He was watching the Super Bowl. And that yeah. It's like Krang. It's like oh, who right. the hell said that? Oh, I, I yelled Krang yeah. too. Yeah. I really. Yeah. I had to look it up afterwards because I was like Krang, and then I watched it again. Oh, it's that little weird yeah, little shredder, yeah. my body. I'm inside of you. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it looked fun. I mean, it, like like John says, like we both saw uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the new one. And we both liked it. Yeah. Like we saw it separately. Like I was like, hey, I was like, it, I didn't think it sucked. And he was like, no, I liked it yeah. too. Yeah. So like, so I'm gonna see this film with that same kind of like lowered expectation, mm -hmm. and I'll probably like it. I guess. Ashley, what was your favorite uh, Super well, Bowl spot? I, I was just thinking about how Megan Fox was the only thing that stood out to me in that Teenage Mutant totally. Ninja Turtles commercial. <laughs> As she should. Um, but besides the um, Heinz ketchup commercial with the wiener dogs, like oh, that was running around, favorite. was yeah. so cute. Um, she cried. She literally cried. She was crying. It was that. adorable. Yeah. That was definitely my favorite commercial, but. Favorite um, trailer that we saw, Civil War. Just the energy was just on yeah. point for especially the Super Bowl. It was a good. I thought I thought you were gonna say the Ryan Reynolds commercial. Oh yeah, well <laughs> that was that was a good. Yeah, and I just did watch that Scott Bayo commercial, which I thought that was, was a funny spot too. Like, there were some really, really, really good spots. Yeah. There's some and really the good David spots. David Bowie, you know, uh, Star Man mm -hmm. one made me get yeah. all emotional. Yeah. So. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.